Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles. And what we have here today is a battle of the 125 Enduros. We'll start with the Rickman. This is a 125 Rickman Zundap, which is German. That's why you have to say Zundap. This is a one owner bike. The guy lives here in Florida. He bought it new in Colorado. I'm gonna point out a couple of things. First off, it's showing 910 miles. It's not perfect. Some spots where the nickel is rubbed off. But what I noticed is, I think this is an early version. See this enclosed case with the kicker, which is actually pinned into the side cover. It comes off with the case. If you look at the service manual, I guess this is a later model, they opened that up, presumably because it would get full of mud. Notice also high fender, low fender. Now this looks like it has a plunger type BSA style petcock. That's quarter inch British thread. And that petcock I had to replace because it was missing. Horn, high low. I'm guessing that's on off. The book calls it a generator, but it's actually a magneto. The points are behind there. It's got Dunlop Universal Trials type tires. These are matching. They are badly dry rotted. They are probably the original tires. It's a five speed. One down, four up. I don't know what those two holes are. The grips are wrong. Th that's a little rotted. These look like Amel type levers. I had to replace the kill switch. I think it would have had Magura type grips on it. And it's a runner. We're gonna take it for a ride. But then we're gonna compare it to this. This is later. This is a, I think it's a 77 Hercules with a Sax 125 seven speed motor. Common misconception. This Zundat motor, while we believe it's derived from the first generation Sax motor, it's not a Sax motor, it's different. For one, it has a chrome bore different cylinder probably a similar design that crazy ball bearings for your gear selector which some people complain about but th both of these bikes shift really well notice you've got adjustable shock position bottom and upper you can go almost full lay down if you want Seven speed, works really well. Now, the 125s were blue, the 175s were orange, and the 250s were red. I'm told they made a 350, but I've never seen one. Both of these have Cheriani forks. Both kick on the left. These are your Magura style grips. 
Now I had to locate a speedometer and the mount, which I have. I haven't hooked up the speedometer cable yet. Both of these bikes are street titled. I wanted it to look more street legal with the speedometer. Here the cable goes into this backing plate. I want to make sure that's free. And I bought a reproduction leather toolkit that goes there. This is what the toolkit looks like. And this is sort of different. So these are nickel plated Rickman foot pegs from, oh man, 40 years ago when I had one of these. But these are dimpled and they're not nickel plated. And they're also Rickman. Cause this too is from my bike 40 years ago. So I can't explain the difference. So we're gonna get ready to light these up and go for a ride. I haven't run this one in a while, so it should light up. I had all the fuel drained. It should light right up. Before we go for a ride let's take a closer look at this hercules i think this is a low mileage bike because see all the decals aren't rubbed off it doesn't have lines rubbed into the cases yet and it still has old timey metzler tires front and back so they're probably also the original tires The Magura lever guards aren't all messed up. Here's your Magura kill switch. I think this is a low mileage bike, but I can't know the history for sure. Now, when I got it, there's a coil cable up here and it used to come down and hit the plug and this gets hot and it melted. So, I had to replace the upper coil. It's a motoplat ignition. So I replaced the upper coil, got one with an extra long lead so I could route it away from the pipe. And I had to replace these cables and route them away from the pipe. I've seen two or three of these now that have been parked and they're parked because the throttle, the choke and the ignition cable and sometimes the wires melt if they're let to lay against the expansion chamber and that's the knock on these bikes now you look see that's not falling out i think this is a low mileage bike it's pretty clean we took it in ocala just to see how it would do on the dirt. Now I want to tell you, the 125, it's the same chassis 
as the 175 in orange or the 250 in red don't know about the 350 so these were considered heavy enduro bikes they're not motocross bikes and the 125 is a little bit slow because it's in a full-size chassis but you have seven speeds and you're gonna use all of them you can see how we did in ocala but i'm gonna mix up some gas and we're gonna take that one for a run well i haven't run this in a number of years so it should light let's see uh, i don't think i'm gonna use the choke are back for round two and I think we got it want a quick impression and maybe we'll do a longer ride together with the camera but it likes it in the high rpm it does not like low rpm it's too little a motor 125 cc but when you wind it up you can hear it it comes alive at the top end of the range and uh that's pretty fun but that's why you need the seven gears too so you can keep it up there but Pretty neat bike. I'm glad I got it started. Mm -hmm. 